Good afternoon. Thank you for coming, everyone. As you know, we're on the leading edge of coalition military operations designed to enforce United Nations Security Council Resolution 1973 in Libya. The goals of these initial operations are essentially twofold. First, to prevent further attacks by regime forces on Libyan citizens and opposition groups, especially in and around Benghazi. And second, to degrade the regime's capability to resist the no-fly zone we are implementing under that United Nations resolution. To that end, earlier this afternoon, over 110 Tomahawk cruise missiles fired from both U.S. and British ships and submarines struck more than 20 integrated air defense systems and other air defense facilities ashore. On the slide to my left, uh, back one slide please. On the slide to my left, you can see the rough locations of the military target struck. You will notice that most of them are on or near the coast, a fact which made their destruction vital to the enforcement of a no-fly zone, since so much of the air activity we have seen and so much of the regime's military efforts have been in this part of the country. These strikes were carefully coordinated with our coalition partners. The targets themselves were selected based on our collective assessment that these sites either pose a direct threat to the coalition pilots or through use by the regime pose a direct threat to the people of Libya. Because it is night over there, it will be some time before we have a complete picture of the success of these strikes. I want to stress, however, that this is just the first phase of what will likely be a multi-phase military operation designed to enforce the United Nations resolution and deny the Libyan regime the ability to use force against its own people. This is an international military effort urged by the Libyan people themselves and by other Arab nations. We are joined by several other allied partners and are committed to supporting their efforts. Indeed, we continue to receive commitments of support and participation in leadership from both Arab and European partners. In these early days, the operation will be under the operational command of General Carter Ham, Commander U.S. Africa, Africa Command, and the commander of Joint Task Force Odyssey Dawn, which is the name of this operation, is Admiral Sam Locklear, who is embarked on board USS Mount Whitney in the Mediterranean. We anticipate the eventual transition of leadership to a coalition commander in the coming days. That said, the U U.S. military has and will continue to use our unique capabilities to create the conditions from which we and our partners can best enforce the full measure of the U.N. mandate. Our mission right now is to shape the battle space in such a way that our partners may take the lead in both execute and execution. As the President has said, we are not going to use force to go beyond a well-defined goal, specifically the protection of the civilians in Libya. And with that, I will take your question.